Good morning. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, it's been a while and uh, I decided to do a video today and I hope that you are you will be encouraged after you uh, have heard the word of the Lord. And if I were to title this message, this short video, it would be uh, a decision has to be made. A decision has to be made. And I'm going to talk to you about a very familiar story uh, coming from 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. Uh, I'm going to start with the, with the seventh verse. And I'm going to go down uh, probably until the 15th verse. I'm going to try to make this as quickly as as possible but um, I just wanted when the Lord showed me this I was so like oh my gosh because we have uh, those of you that that uh, read your Bible um, you know about the widow and um, and it's just amazing how sometimes you can read something and it's a very familiar story, so you just go to the, really the part, you gravitate to the part that you know, but there's there's little parts in there that the Lord, there's a part in there that the Lord showed me, and I was just, I was just like, ain't that something? So, let us go into the Word of God. Lord God, I just ask, oh God, that you would word my mouth, God, as I do this video, God. I ask, oh God, that 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 it will penetrate the word will penetrate the hearts of of the viewers the hearts and the minds of the viewers god that they will be provoked to good works god that they will be provoked to to go deeper in their word god that they will be provoked to say yes to you god and we give you all the glory we give you all the praise in jesus name amen and when i was reading this story um uh, I just was thinking about how God wants your yes. 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 And the prophet Isaiah gave God a yes. And a lot of times we don't give God our total yes. We give God a yes in situations that we think that will be favorable to us. We give God our yes in situations that we can see our way out. We can see how we're going to come out. We can see, you know, sometimes you can say, well, I see how that's going to work, God. Okay, I say yes. But what about in times where you don't see anything? What about in situations where you're telling God yes, but you don't know what that yes entails? You don't know where he's going to send you. You don't know uh, what the requirement, because there is a requirement with your yes. With your yes, there is a requirement. And it's coming to a time now that a decision has to be made. The rubber has met the road. And you have to make a decision. Because a lot of times you'll say yes on today, but you'll say no on tomorrow. And that's a double-minded man. And the Bible said he's unstable in all his ways. And everything you do, you're not, you don't, you don't have one decision. It's always yes and no. You're wavering. You're like a sea that's tossed. So let's go to the word. First Kings, the 17th chapter, starting with the seventh verse. And it says, and it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And I'm reading the King James Version. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Who was him? Isaiah, prophet Isaiah. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. And behold, I have commanded a widow there to sustain thee. He said, I have already commanded a widow to sustain you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering sticks, and he called her and said, Fetch me, give me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. So here it is. 
the prophet Isaiah is, go, is in a desperate situation because the brook had dried up. So he's in a desperate situation. And God says, I need you to go. I have already made provisions for you in another, uh, another town, another city, another uh, providence, another place. Okay, I've already made provisions for you in another place. And a lot of times when we say when 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 God when your situation has dried up, if you have to move or if you have to go to another situation, if you have to be uh, displaced or something happens and it's like, okay, God is saying I need to go here. You would think that that situation, the, the place is already made. I've already made provisions for you. It's going to be an easy transition because that's what the human mind thinks. Because when God tells you to go someplace, you're thinking, oh, okay, it's good. I, I already, I already, he's telling, he told the Isaiah, I already told, hey, I already told the woman, she, she's going to sustain you. She's going to give you the things that you need to be sustained. You're going to be good. So in our minds, you're not thinking that you're going from one desperate situation to another desperate situation. And this is what Isaiah did. He went from one desperate situation to another desperate situation. Let's read. It says, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, the ninth verse, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. She ain't got no problem with that. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her. He called to her and said, bring me, I pray you, a morsel of bread in thy hand. Okay, now you're asking too much, Prophet Isaiah. Now I'm going to give you some water. Now you want some food? The Lord already told him, told the prophet, that I have already made provisions for you. So he goes to the widow See, the widow got to say yes, too. Prophet, the, the, Isaiah already said yes. Yes, Lord, I'll go. This brook is dried up. You have other provisions for me? I'm going. But here you got this widow. See, sometimes your yes is attached to another person's yes. Sometimes your yes is attached to other souls. Because if you say yes, what an impact will you make in your church? What an impact will you make in the body of Christ? What an impact will you make to help win souls to the kingdom when you say yes? So here it is. The, 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 the widow. She says. He says in the 11th verse, and she was going to fetch it. He called to her and said, bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, as the Lord long thy God liveth, I have no cake. I ain't got what you need. But a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that I may eat and die. Now, most of us would be like, what? So, God, you did you tell me to come here? Because she's telling me she ain't got no food for me. She's telling me that she don't have nothing. So it seemed like God didn't prepare her. But God said, I have prepared for I have already given instructions to a widow that's going to sustain you. But her response don't, don't sound like she's going to sustain the prophet. Because she already told him, I ain't, got, I ain't got no food for you. I'll give you some water. But man of God, I don't have no food for you. Isn't it something how God, you will say yes and God don't give you the whole picture. He'll just say the way's been made. He don't tell you how the way going to get made. He just says the way get made. The way is made. Or he'll say go. It's amazing how God will don't give you the whole picture. 
He don't give you all the circumstances that that goes in with what he's telling you to do. Why? Because we as humans, we'd be like, now we have too many questions and we will talk ourselves in doubt. But when God puts that urgency in you and say, I just feel like I got to go. I just feel like I just feel like God going to do something for me. And I can relate because that's how I got where I am. Because I just felt, I felt, I'm like, I know God is calling me to leave Kansas. I know God is calling, I know God, I didn't know, I, I didn't see all this was going to happen, but I knew God had called me to go. Do I regret my decision leaving? Absolutely not. Not one day. But God didn't tell me the whole picture of what I, I would have to encounter in me saying yes. He don't tell you the whole picture. So her, it's, it would seem like to the prophet that maybe he missed it. Maybe God didn't tell me that. It don't say that, but in my mind, I'm like, she ain't say, she don't act like she done heard from the Lord. She don't act like God done prepared her heart to, to, to sustain this prophet, to sustain prop, the, the uh, Isaiah. <clears throat> so it says, it says, the 12th verse, it says, And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but an handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, not, not Isaiah, that we may eat and die. That excluded him. It says... For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the bearer of meal shall not waste, neither shall the crews of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Now, it's still, she still had to say yes to what the prophet was saying. See how the yeses had to go together? Because if she said, no, man of God, I don't, I don't have it. I believe God would have would made another way for Isaiah. But you, do you see how... Your yes is attached to another, somebody else's yes. Sometimes your yeses go together. So here it is. The man of God came to the widow wanting to be sustained. He came to the widow with an issue. He wanted to eat. He wanted to be sustained. He wanted something to eat, something to drink. And she said, I ain't got that for you. But he still said, he still hung on to I know what God told me, and I told the Lord yes. And that's sometimes you have to hang on to. I told God yes, and I'm going to persevere through. I told God yes. I made a decision. I'm not going to back down. I don't care what I see. I don't care how I feel. I don't care if opposition. I don't care what they're saying. I still told God yes. I still told God yes. And if you hang on to your yes and not waver and continue to believe God, Things will turn around. Let's see what it says. It says, the 13th verse, And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make thee and for thy son. He said, go ahead and do what you're doing, but feed me first. She still had to say yes. There still had to be an agreement. I'm going to do what the prophet said. I'm going to do what the man of God said. What am I saying? A decision has to be made. And you cannot take down your yes. If you said yes to God, Continue to say yes when you don't see the way. Continue to say yes when things aren't favorable. This is for me. This message, I'm telling you, it, it ministered to me. It ministered to me. Continue to tell God yes. Give him your yes. Because if you give him your yes, you're going to be sustained. If you give him your yes, you're going to have favor on your life. If when you give him your yes, you have access to the kingdom. You have access. Refuse to take down. 
refuse to be uh, captured or held hostage by fear. Sometimes when you set, tell God, yes, the first thing that the enemy hits you with is fear. And we know fear is not of God. He has not given us the spirit of fear. But of love and of power and of a sound mind. He has not given us the spirit of, oh, I'm so, so scared. Now, why are you scared? If God be for you, who can be against you? This message ministered to me, and I hope it ministered to you. Give God your yes. Every day, there's a decision that has to be made. Will you say yes today? Will you give God everything? Will you stretch out of your comfort zone and stop being so comfortable when God is calling you to a higher calling, when God is trying to stir up gifts in you? Will you still say yes? Or will you, will you have a uh, say, well, Lord, I'm not going to do that because, you know, I don't, want, I don't want them looking at me or I don't want to be made a fool of, or Lord, I don't know what they're going to say. Tell God yes. And he will work everything out. He will sustain you. He will lead and guide you. People of God, I have more to say. But my time is up. I hope that you give God your yes. Remember, a decision has to be made. A decision has to be made. You're going to tell God yes, or you're going to tell him, no, I'm not going to do it. There's blessings in the yes. There's peace in the yes. There's a covering in the yes. There's provision in the yes. Whatever you need, it's in your yes. I love you. God bless you. And until I do another video, praise God, I will not be doing one probably for another week or so. Um, but God is good. He is worthy to be praised. I hope you are encouraged. Love you. God bless.